Good evening, everyone. My name is Genevieve Michaels, and I have the pleasure of introducing our final speaker of the night. Every person in this room has benefited from the talent and hard work of Mr. John Gino, perhaps without even realizing it. Since 2014, John has been our PAC manager and technical director, and has worked tirelessly to make the most use of this beautiful space. He has created the best sound for our concerts, no matter how many people we put on stage or numbers of various instruments we ask to bring in. Uh, not only is he one of the best at his job, he's an incredibly kind person and a dear, dear friend. Tonight we are so pleased that he agreed to come out of the booth and be featured as our final memory of home. When they approached me to uh, tell everyone a memory of home, my first thought was, ha ha, funny guys, good joke, yeah right. I'm gonna come out juggling a timpani, a harp, a uh, seven piece uh, string quart quintet, and uh, set up 40 chairs, then go running over to a microphone and tell everyone about my favorite Christmas ever. <laughs> and then I realized they were serious. <laughs> and this next piece only has two clarinets and a flute, and they said, what the heck, I got some time, sure, whatever, I'll tell people a story. <laughs> All right, so home, this is a word that for a long time to me didn't resonate the same way that it does to everyone here tonight. For 15 years, I worked in regional theaters all over the country, and uh, home was wherever I hung my hat, and that usually was wherever the next job took me. In those uh, 15 years, I uh, would pack my, my bag, bags into my car, drive across the country to a town that I'd never been to, and usually I didn't know a single soul, and I would show up and uh, I would just work there because they needed a theater technician. Um, over those 15 years, I've worked and lived in nine different states and spent six glorious months on a cruise ship circling Cuba. <laughs> doing the same thing every week. Cruising is awesome if you're on the boat as a cruiser when you're working. It's the same thing over and over. Starts to feel like Groundhog Day. Um, but I did get to meet a lot of very interesting people and I was a part of some really amazing art. and. Uh, that was, by the end, I was always on my own, headed to the next job, the next city, the next theater. Here are three pieces of advice I have learned from my travels. Number one, do not ever live on the border of two states. Every time you move, you have to get a new license, you have to get new plates, you have to fill out double the tax forms. Just don't do it, it's not worth it. Uh, two, if you ever go on a cruise ship, take an air purifier with you. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Three, you never know where home is going to find you. So, <clears throat> I took a job in White River Junction, Vermont. And uh, it was a very small theater, and uh, out of all of the places that I thought would change my life, I never thought it would be White River Junction, Vermont. Like, good luck finding it on a map, okay? Um, of course, it did take me six years and five different jobs before that happened in White River Junction, Vermont, but at least it finally happened. Um, I would meet the love of my life and it would bring me who I wanted to be. It would bring me a new meaning of home. Home would become more than where I was, it would become who I was. No longer was it, what do I do, what do I want to do, and where will I go next? It was, instead it was, there was, uh, where are we going to go, and what's our next step? Uh, home had become family. And now that we have welcomed our daughter into our lives, Home has become
something even bigger. Yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way from uh, pulling out a wallet and showing off the, the photos. Bet you a lot of those dads out there wish they could do this. <laughs> this job does have a couple of perks to it. <clears throat> memories of home is what this concert represents. And while many people think of the memories from their past, I like to think of the memories that we are making now and those that will come in the future. For me, my favorite memories of home are yet to come.